What's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about taking this mess that's left over from my last couple of trips that I didn't use and organizing it nice and neatly and most importantly keeping it out of the heat because these do sometimes warp. So they warp, the colors will bleed onto each other and they'll kind of stick together if it gets too warm. So I wanted to come up with a system that prevents all three because I'm big into jigging for striped bass and when I do get this in front of a nice fish I want it looking and swimming as perfectly as possible. So to organize these, we're going to use a freshwater tackle tray with the dividers. You don't need all the dividers. I just like to have four in the middle to get started. And to give you a better view, we're gonna bring the camera in so you can see what I'm doing. I picked this tackle tray because my soft jig bodies of choice fit perfectly in here, one on each side. If you're going with larger bodies, you can either move these across to fit them or you can always just go with a different design that maybe is a little bit wider and fits them better. The way I like to put these in here, it's two side by side like this and then one on the top like that. They're nice and straight, they're nice and even and again we're keeping this out of the heat but because this is in such a small sleek container it's easy to do so. You can store it wherever, keep it in an air-conditioned room in the summer. And then the another thing I like about these is I like to stock up on these in the winter. I go to the saltwater fishing shows and I'll just buy a ton of them. I don't like to leave them in the bags that they come in or sometimes if you're buying them actually they just have them in the bin sitting there. So I like to have a nice place to put them all. And I keep the dividers in the middle because like I said the colors bleed onto each other. So we can actually have that on one side and then we can have a different color on the other side. And again, keeping them nice and even, nice and neat. And you don't have to worry about your colors bleeding onto each other. And then I'll just throw my jig heads in here too. This is also a great way to travel with them for those of you who like to fish the jetties with a backpack. This folds up neatly. You can put a few of them in your bag and have plenty of jigs to fish the night. So these particular jig bodies that I use are actually for umbrella rigs and the reason why I prefer these is because they come in packs of 20 for about 22 bucks. And when you're fishing for striped bass with jigs and frequently breaking off on the bottom, saving money is important, which is why I came up with the storage system. Because over the winter, like I said, I'll either go to the convention and buy a ton of them for cheap and then once I'll burn through those, which doesn't take long once the bass get here, I'll buy them in packs of 20 from my local tackle shop and I'll store them all away until I need them buy a bunch of different colors this way depending on the light levels that night or what bait they're on I'll have the color I want to go jigging that night. Um, also if you guys are newer to using these I made a separate video on a trick I use to rig them but get it right the first time so I'm not running the hook in and out of this thing three times and then just having it fly off in the current which is important because as you catch bass on these things and they bite at it and pull at it in the current it slowly starts to deteriorate. So getting the hook set in this thing right the first time will help extend its life a little bit longer. Comment below if you have any further questions on this video or if you have any suggestions for future videos. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.